SolidWorks PDM uses local views of vaults to navigate through files that are stored in different vaults. But how do these local views get created? Let's look at the simple way to create a local view of an existing vault, as well as how to get rid of one if you needed to do that. So when you go to your start menu, if you start typing view setup, you should see a little application that will allow you to create these local views. Following the wizard, we'll see the servers that we can connect to. We'll then see vaults available for us on that server. Specify where we want to store this. Our recommendation is that you always put this directly on a local drive at the root level. And that's it. Now we'll see our link to this brand new vault here. It doesn't have anything in the vault, but as soon as I log in, I will at least be able to see that I am connected to that vault. I have another local view that I want to get rid of. Now these two may behave slightly differently, depending on a particular scenario. So let's look at that. So this is the local view I just made. I'm going to choose to delete the local view and clear out any cached files or folders. After a few moments, we'll see that it's been removed. Occasionally, we'll have to delete the folder or a file after the process is complete. So that's why the prompt popped up that said you may need to reboot in order to get rid of a file or folder left behind. In this vault, I actually have some files checked out or one file checked out to me. So when I go to delete my cache, it should warn me about this. Now the best thing is to log in, run a search, see if you have any files checked out. If so, check them in, address them as needed, then delete your local view. If, however, I get to this point, when I choose yes, I will get a prompt to check in all of the files that I have checked out to me in this local cache. So I can go ahead and check this in now, but again, it's better to run a search first. Can we see the same little prompt, but it did successfully get rid of everything. Uh, worst case scenario, do a reboot. Then if you see any yellow folders left over from the process, you can manually delete them. Thanks for watching this video on creating and deleting local vault views with SolidWorks PDM.